Morning everyone. Yeah, my plan of attack for today, I'm going to head down and finish the strimming down near the, uh, down the pond. And then I'm going to come back, I'm going to make a little start on my little baby pond here. Um, I'm waiting for Joaquin to bring me some long ladders up because there's a lot of ladder work that I need to get done. I've got to paint the, um, what's going to be the carport. I've got to trim some trees on the drive so we don't hit them with the camper. And if I've got, if I've got a chance, um... I might take some of the pear tree, although I might be a bit late for the pear tree now. But I think I'm still okay to trim some um, branches off the olive trees. So, yeah, that's the plan of attack. And then um, if the wind dies down later on, maybe this evening, I can get some stuff planted. It's a bit windy for seeds and things, so um, we'll see how we go. But, yeah, for now, I'm heading back down there. Right, so as you can see, I'm all set up here to go up this uh, ladder, up into this tree. I, I suppose I am quite sheltered around this corner, but I just feel a bit, just feel a bit, a bit worried about it. It's, um, yeah, if I could get the ladder straighter, I'd be happier, but I don't know what to do. Right, I'll just give it a little test and see how we go. Right, so this is the plan. I've got them wedged against the wall, kind of. Um, I don't really know how to get them up like more vertical. Ideally, I would have them resting against the IBC tank a bit more vertical, but um, it's just going to have to be like this, I think. Um, I'll test it for strength, and then I better get up there and cut uh, a couple of these. Like, um, sorry about the wobble. Um, yeah, a couple, a couple of these overhanging branches here that overhang the driveway, and then I'll to uh, tackle the wall crop tree. So we'll see how it goes like this. If I'm not feeling safe, I'm coming down. hard work with a little saw like this and it's a bit scary. <sighs> anyway, I'm about halfway through but I need to go and, um, luckily I dropped the saw. <laughs> I need to go and tighten these up a little bit, it's a bit loose so I'll tighten them up and then hopefully the next visit up there it should be down. I've just whacked, just whacked my head off a branch. Um, I think I'm going to go this way. Uh, feels a bit safer that way, although I've not tested it yet. I've got it, I've got it pretty much wedged on um, one of the vine concrete things over there. Look, so uh, yeah, it definitely feels a bit safer than randomly the IBC tank. So I'm going to have a go this way and. Uh, Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have a go at it this way. I would, you know, like to go like straight up, but uh, that's not possible. So I'll give this a go and see what happens. Wish me luck. Let's give this branch a go. Mm, I don't think I'm going to be able to reach it there, actually. Um, do you know what? I think for this, I might be able to do this with a chair. Let me go and grab a chair. Uh, I've just had a good look, actually, as if I was driving through. 
that branch over there it actually isn't it isn't the problem it's this one here um, that one will be fine so I've managed to get the ladders up I tell you what it's hard work lugging these blooming ladders about so I've managed to get the ladders pretty much vertical I just need to adjust the feet so both feet are on the floor um, and then it's one of these that needs to come off so I'm going to just fiddle about a bit more with the ladders and then I'm going to go up I feel better going vertical than like this kind of angle so I'm going to do that get the feet on the floor and then I've got one branch here to cut so hopefully <laughs> this tree should be done soon Well, the main, <laughs> the main culprit's down, um, but now I'm thinking I might need to take some off this one here. Uh, probably not the whole branch like that one, but um, I think definitely a couple of little arms off this one needs to come down. Um, and maybe, maybe the bottom arm over there. So I think that's the next, the next task. And then um, I'll move on to the low quad tree. I feel really bad about that. It's such a beautiful tree. But there's some definite bits that I can trim on there. Perhaps not saw, but just with the snippers, just, just trim it back a bit. So yeah, I survived so far. <laughs> really quite bad doing that um tried to be as sympathetic as I can I've just wanted to widen obviously the entrance way where the camper van's going to be coming through um yeah didn't feel good doing that I mean it it's give it a better shape I suppose um but yeah I feel really quite bad because there's a, a quite a lot of fruit coming out I mean I don't know whether you can see that yeah so all the lovely blossom was out um Gosh, it blossoms quite early, this. I, I should imagine it was probably about November, December, January time. And you can see that it's just like bursting with fruit now. So I hope I've not done too much damage. Um, but yeah. Let me just look from this kind of direction now. So with the olive branches gone, this... Uh, Quite a decent opening now. I do feel like probably a bit more of this um, this olive branch there could do with coming down, but we'll we'll just judge it as and when. So if it's like really making a mess of the camper as, we, as we're trying to squeeze through, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll let Mark get up there and do that one. But yeah, that's what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to achieve. Widen the opening, awesome. So I think we'll um, we'll move on to the carport and finish the day with a bit of painting. Okay, so the, the plan with um, this area here, it will become the carport for the camper van. Um, Portuguese sun in summertime is just like really harsh, so we definitely want a place for it to be kept. Um, poor old Bert is stuck out there in the elements, but um, yeah, this is uh, pretty much a, a classic. Well, it's 
30, 33 years old and I don't know, most countries it's classed as um, a classic once it get or a vintage, I don't know, once it gets a 30 year old. But anyway, we want to look after it. So um, <laughs> my attempt to catch rainwater <laughs> over at the pond, the pool with um, that kind of, um, oh, what do you call them? Um, ground sheet it's uh, big enough we made sure that we got one big enough to cover the top of this but it's this that I'm going to work on today so I probably will take away all this horrible this metal stuff I've been meaning to do that for a long time um, but it's mainly the poles so you can see the the very rusty the the terrible looking it just looks scruffy and then we've got some yellow ones and so it's just like scaffolding well I don't know whatever you want to call it scaffolding upright things so um yeah I'm just going to paint them black make them look a bit more um <laughs> a bit more classy to match the windows and the doors and then I probably won't attach the um the cover today I might wait till Mark gets here um when we bring the camper over shortly and we'll, we'll be a two-man team and do that i think that's going to be tricky especially with the wind today so um as long as i get like halfway up the poles done today i'm happy i can finish off another day now i've got the ladders and get the top done so yeah that's that's the plan let's smarten this place up a bit There we go, I think that's a lot smarter. So I've got all the bottoms as far as I can reach done. Um, so hopefully it'll be a bit um, less windy tomorrow or some point this week and I can get up and uh, and get the top done. So yeah, that's another job done. Awesome. Well, half done. <laughs> well, that's been a lovely relaxing job to end the day after the traumas of going up a tree and, and that blooming ladder. Uh, it's probably more paint on me, but anyway, I've got um, last two poles here to do, and then yeah, I'm calling it. I'm starving today.
Right, let's get this list updated, I think. So, what have we done now? Um, I'm going to half colour in, paint the carport, because I've half done it. Um, so, I'm going to cut that one in half and half colour it in. And hopefully at some point this week I can colour the rest in. So it's half coloured. Um, I've pruned the olive tree that I really needed to prune. There is a bit more to do, but um, even if I don't get round to them at the moment, I think it'll be fine. But the trees that I wanted to prune, yes, they've definitely been done. Um, I haven't moved the cuttings, plant flower seeds, no. Um, oh, I've strimmed near the pond down at the bottom of the land so that can have a colour I haven't planted any pond seeds I haven't started any plants I haven't painted any of the outdoor uh, the outbuilding doors yet and I haven't really done much work on the pond I've gathered some rocks from around the land and um, everything's in the place so I suppose I've begun yeah, I'm going to give myself that. I have begun. What I need to do now is this one, which is work on the new pond. Uh, but yeah, everything is ready to go. So um, yeah, this is really working. I'm loving it. So I've got a few more things that I obviously need to do. Um, but yeah, it's a good way of keeping on track. Love it. Bon dear everybody, what a lovely day it is today, so the wind seems to have dropped an awful lot, I mean, I mean there is there is a breeze, um, but it's nothing like it has been, so today looks amazing. I've still got the ladders, so I can still get on with a few jobs that I need to do, kind of upwards, um, I need to finish this carport painting, and uh, yeah, I'm just going to take a wander around really and have a look and see what we can get up to today. So I think this is where we'll start today. So my idea for this is that I'm going to build up all around here with soil. Um, I've got loads kind of sat, sat down here where I just kind of make a, a makeshift compost area. So I'm going to transfer some of that soil here up to here and build this up. And then I can put some rocks in and plant it between the rocks. Um, I've got a pond liner to make a makeshift pond out of this tyre and then again over here it'll be kind of graduated a bit lower and I'm going to put a few more rocks around and, and get some things planted in between. I've got a solar water fountain thing that'll keep the water moving so um, yeah, I think it'll just finish this area off nicely. So yeah, I think that's going to be the first job for today. Right, I've got this pond liner, but I, I definitely don't need two by two metres, so four square metres. So um, I think I'll cut it because I might need this again sometime and I'm not wasting it, so.
had to take the jumper off. It is a warm one. I'll tell you what, this is gorgeous compost now. I've like, I think I've said before, I literally just dumped garden garden material there and um, it's been sat for two years and I've dug deep to get the, the older stuff and it's beautiful and look at this. Oh my goodness, can anybody tell me what on earth this thing is? It's huge. What is that please? It's got like a brown spot on it. It's mahoosive. Focus you a bit more. Difficult in the sun. But that is one big caterpillary thing. Ooh. It's sending me a bit sick to be honest. Anyway, I'll uh, I'll put them somewhere safe. Maybe back in the compost. I'm going to start placing some of these rocks around and see how I feel about them. Going for the slinger min and hawk kind of tactic. You know the natural look. Right, that's how I built up as much as I want. I think um, I've got a big, beautiful um, terracotta ornament, like a big vase thing that I'm going to put there, laid on the floor with flowers coming out of it. So I can leave kind of this area without stone or anything. That's fine. So just need to find a few more stones. I've got a couple here. Yeah, I think that'll do. Right, I've been to the vineyard and got a few more, and I forgot about these. Um, yeah, I bought these at B and M's in the UK and brought them over, and they've been sitting under the orange tree for a little while. So I actually bought them for this project, so I can I can get these sat in. So I want maybe one up here. I think maybe one near the pond to light up the pond. Maybe. Again, I'll see what the light when the. So I can perhaps move that. Here.
might actually have some luck with these tulip bulbs because as you can see they're starting sprouting so if I can get them in quickly I might actually have something this year. We can always try can't we? have a quick look at the pond this morning it's uh, looking good a nice one obviously all the flowers are on it and uh, my nice new um, terracotta pot things there but uh, yeah it'll do it'll do thanks for watching everybody and if you enjoyed the video don't forget to uh, give us a thumbs up and drop us a comment we always love to hear from you all so see you again mm. Can't promise it'll be next week, but um, yeah, it'll be soon. We've got um, the road trip ahead of us and uh, we're going to be really busy for a couple of weeks. So um, yeah, we'll get back to you as soon as we can with a new video. So take care, everyone. Thanks for your support. Bye-bye.